Good afternoon and welcome to the Nutter Center on the campus of Wright State University. It is the Division Five semifinal matchup in the state of Ohio. The winner has a chance to play for a state championship tomorrow. Our premier sponsor tonight is the Ohio Logistics, providing all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your sophisticated logistics requirement. I'm Mark Shine alongside Chris Luthold. Chris, as we look at this, Middletown Fenwick has been here before then known as Middletown Fenwick, now known as Franklin Bishop Fenwick. They've been here before. OG has never played in the state tournament before. Well, it could matter and it might not matter. Uh, the current players for Fenwick have not played here before, but the coach has, has, has taken a team here. And a lot of times when you come your second time, the coach just knows how things work and maybe can prepare the girls for a lot of the uh, nonsense that goes on off the court. On the other hand, if you're here for the first time, you probably are got everybody in town is here <laughs> and the girls will be so excited so it's hard to tell whether that'll be a factor or not bishop fenwick tyler Connolly's team plays in the greater catholic league chris they're only 15 and 12 but they're here in the state tournament with some experience they they are and even with that 12 losses i mean i'm looking at their their schedule right now and it's just a, a brutal schedule week in and week out but when it came to the tournament um they only had one uh match that was not three and out so they lost to, or they beat Versailles three games to one in the regional finals so so um, yeah, I think you can put those records aside uh, Ottawa Glendorf Maddie Howenstein's in her first year as a coach here they started the season three and six and really turned around since then well and the same thing look at those six losses I mean you're looking at teams that are all ranked in the state a lot of the, the Midwest Athletic Conference teams and so forth and it could be that it just took a little bit of time for the coach and the players to get on the same page and, and things like that. But once they, once they got past those uh, first nine matches, they, they've been on fire since with just one loss. This is the first of the Division Five semifinal matches. The late game this evening is Mentor Lake Catholic against Frankfurt Adina. And the winner of this match will play in that state championship match against one of those two teams tomorrow. We've got the pregame set. We're going to have the opening serve in just a moment you're watching high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Welcome back to this Division 5 state semifinal match between Bishop Fenwick and Ottawa Glandorf. Our presenting sponsor today is Putnam County Home, Home Care and Hospice providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs where you're treated like family. Mark Schein, Chris Luthold here. If you're looking at a pair of uniforms look kind of similar, OG is on the right. They are in their blue uniforms this evening. Their libero, Carly Crawfus, will be wearing a white jersey. Bishop Fenwick will be on the left. They're in black jerseys with red trim on their numerals. And their libero, number 21, that is Emerson Mosier will be playing with a white jersey on as well. Our officials today, our R1 is Gary Oscar. He's in his 20th year of officiating. This is his fourth state tournament. Dale Gatos is the R2. And our two line judges are Beth Lasseda and Nicole Welsh. The Ottawa Glander Titans will serve first. Balls hit to the back row is played by the libero Moser. This will be hit over by Samantha Long, and no, it won't. It comes up short. Well, she didn't make very good contact on that ball. I know that's one she's probably done 100 times, but uh, just, just didn't make good contact with her hand. Service again by Addie Bellman, the setter. This will be hit over. Bellman will set. Sienna Fry gets her first hit. This will be set by the libero, Crawford, and cross court it goes, and the block is there. Carolyn Hinker was there, so was Samantha Long. Tied at one as Caroline Hinker will serve, a 5-10 a junior. To the libero, here comes Bellman to set. Fry from this side, another block. And once again, at the net, Samantha Long. Boy, three points and two blocks. Excuse me, two points and two blocks. That's unusual. Samantha Long listed as a 5'9 sophomore, and she got up in the air on that one. Here's service again by Hinker. A bit of an overpass. Set, hit. 
That kill will go to Andrea Potawakoskit. Did I get close on that, Chris? I know you got the number. Potaskowitz. All right, I'll keep working on that one. 3-1 early on, Potaskowitz. Thank you. Accent on the second syllable. Set Fry is going to have to just play it over. Set by Ali Bainey, and that's it to the back row. Give that point. Morgan Myring. Morgan is a third team All Ohio player, and it is 4 1 early on, Fenwick. And that's going to be an ace. Our ace sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphison, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too, and it is 5 1 in favor of the Fenwick Falcons. Set to the middle and it's tipped to the back row that time by Caitlin Kimmett. Myring hit. This will be up in the air and set for Marley Buttlemeyer. Myring again, she goes through a blocker and scores again. It is 6-1. Got a five-point run going right here for Caroline Hinker. And those points have all been earned by Fenwick. Two kill, uh, three kills, two blocks, and an ace. So here's Caroline Hinker to serve again. Bellman sets in the middle. This time it's blocked again. Fry. And it's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds, and OG will get the serve back. Trailing 6-2. Fenwick has really done a nice job blocking so far. Almost every hit from OG, if they've got their hands on. Caitlin Kennett will serve this ball. And trying to make a play with it is Morgan Myring, but cannot on that particular play. 6-3 as Kennett will serve again. Second team Western Buckeye League player this year. Haley Hemmett, and she hit it long. It is 7 3 Falcons. And checking in now will be number, let me see, it looks like number 13, Lila Schmidt. And she replaces Abby Keller. And that brings in the second setter, and that's number 12, Brooklyn Zoit. And Brooklyn will go back to serve. But Kuzoik to serve. Here's Bellman. Back set fry, and she hits it off a blocker. The libero. Moser tried to get a hand on it, but couldn't make a play. 7-4. Two kills now by Fry. And number 15 for OG will enter. Maya McLaughlin. She is back row player. Marley Buttermeyer plays in the front row. Here's the left-handed serve. Set, tipped over. This will be set by the libero and Fry. And the Falcons keep it alive. Nice job defensively. Bellman will back set again to Fry. And this oh. time, and she put one in the libero's grill. Remember, Samosa took a hit that time. Yep, but she's, it hurts, but she's acting like it doesn't hurt. She popped up in a hurry here. Yep. McLaughlin to serve again. She line drives that left handed one over. Zoik will back set Myring. Fry again. That one's blocked. And free balled over. Good coverage. Back set. That hit was made by Lila Schmidt, who just checked in a moment ago. It is 8 5 Falcons. That, that hit was barely touched by OG Pro probably would have been out but you know when you're there it's hard to it's hard to get out of the way when those balls are hit that hard. 5-9 Morgan Myring will serve almost got an ace in fact she did. Aces are brought to you by, today by Lee's famous recipe chicken. It's 9-5 Falcons. Mark, this net is very, very loose, and that the net is still bobbing up and down from that, uh, from the ball serving off the uh, just long net. on the service. First, that's first something that uh, by, uh, officials typically check, right? Well, Throw a couple balls off of it. And check I'm and sure see. they did, yeah. and I'm sure they tried to tighten it up, but it 
it's uh, it's really saggy and loose. Sienna Fry will serve. First team All Ohio player in her junior year. Hit over from the back row. Set. Ella White hits, and Ella White hit it long. It is 10-6. Bishop Fenwick. Time for their libero to serve. That would be Emerson Mosier, and we're going to get a timeout first. Timeout Ottawa Glander if they trail 10-6. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back at Wright State, we have a presenting sponsor today. That will be Dale's Concrete. Brought to you this game in part, called Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Well, Chris, as I looked at the, the lineups, OG had a height advantage, but you wouldn't know it by how well Bishop Fenwick has played at the net. They've got their hands on almost every spike that OG has done, two blocks for points and a couple of other blocks that OG was able to, to dig up because of their coverage. So, yeah, it's a little bit surprising. We'll see if that's a tendency through the whole game. It's 10-6 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard as, again, the little barrow, Emerson Mosier, will serve. And she hits it to her counterpart. White will hit. Block. White again. This time she rolls it over, and they get to that as well. And hit out of the middle. Give that one to Caroline Hinker. 11-6 Fenwick. Well, on that block right there that uh, Fenwick had that OG was able to keep in play altered the way that White hit that ball. She just tapped that over. I think they need to keep hitting it right into the block, keep hitting it hard. Bellman sets. Fry on the backside. Or you can set the Fry. Or you can that set would be the Sienna Fry, yeah. couldn't you? That's her fourth kill. Well, she's a back row player. She must have contacted that from behind the 10 yes. foot line. Yep, I wasn't was. watching her feet, so. Line drived over by Crawfus. That's blocked and blocked into the antenna. And the point will go to Fenwick. It's 12 7. First kill by Mia Schmidt. Back in to serve will be Abby Keller, then she'll become the setter. She and Lila Schmidt take turns playing front row, back row. White hits. And that kill will go to Maya Schmidt. It is 13-7. And to serve again will be Abby Keller. She has 238 assists this year, 20 aces. Set, tip to the back row, played over. Good play in the back row that time by Schmidt. And White just tips it, and they get to it again. That's tip pushed to the back row, and once again, Myron gets to it. How about the defense, Chris? That's really good. They're Excellent. really good. Yep, they're really keeping their eye on the, on the hitter and digging that ball up, and not only just digging it, but passing it to the setter. Bishop Fenwick Falcons have doubled up the Titans at 14-7 in their opening set. Keller serves. Just tipped over by Bellman. Maya Schmidt hits, and she hits it into the Ella White, who pushes it into the antenna. It's 15-7 now. Bishop Fenwick plays in the Greater Catholic League in the Cincinnati area, where they were 6-4 this year. White has to free ball it. Set, tip, Bellman plays that one. White hits. That time, Ella White scored, it's 15-8. That was a nice hit by White. The ball was set really too far outside for her, and she um, was able to get a, a good alter or spike approach a little bit and uh, get a nice hit on it. That's her first kill. Ella White will rotate out, and Gracie Lammers will move in to serve for her. Good job by the setter that time. Keller had to chase it down for a long way. Still, LG gets the point. 15-9. And again, Gracie Lammers will serve the sophomore. 
Ooh, the line, line drive. Yeah. Barely cleared the net. And there's a kill that will go to Caroline Hinker. And Chris got to touch the ball. <laughs> 16 9 Fenwick. And they will bring in Allie Bainey now to serve. Mia Schmidt will rotate out. Here's Allie Bainey, 5 1 junior. Left handed. And she hit it long. Long by just a couple inches. Good eyes by the Titans. 16-10 as Eddie Bellman will serve. Second team all Western Buckeye League player this year. Myring hits. It's right to the libero. That's hit over. And tipped and finding an open spot, Caroline Hinker. Caroline uh, had 108 kills, and she's had a bunch of them today. She's got three all recently here, just in the last few points. 17-10, Fenwick. Fry has to just play it over easily. Myring will hit off a blocker. Bellman sets. That ball got up high for Marley Buttlemeyer to play. Bellman saved oh, that great one. Great set. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, and Kaylin Kimmel set. will get a point. Yep. She ran a long way, had to contend with the net. That was a really big play right there. Those one-handed sets used to be really rare, but you see them quite a few times now. I've seen many this year. 17-11 is that serve comes up short. Now 18-11, our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's Otto Glandorf's second miss serve. Brooklyn Zoik will enter. She will now be the server and also set as a back row player. 18-11. And that becomes an ace. The Lee's famous recipe chicken ace makes it 19-11. And Zoik to serve again. 5-3 senior. Their chicken is a lot better than the chicken we have down here at the, <laughs> at the Nutter Center. Yes, it is. Uh, I had some a little bit ago. <laughs> Back set, Fry, Sienna Fry scores. It's her fifth kill. 19-12. I've said many times I like those left-handed players hitting on the right side. Here's Maya McLaughlin will, enter. McLaughlin will enter. She will be the server. Maya has 36 aces this year in her junior season. Myring hits it through a blocker. Set. Ella White. Oh, Good nice save. dig. Free ball over. Bellman goes and gets it. Ella White again. And that ball's hit long. Papaskowitz hit it long. It is 19-13. It's been a fairly even set once you get by those opening five points that were served by Hinker. Yeah, just a six-point lead. Cross court set, Myring. Morgan Myring showing you why she is a third team All Ohio player. It's 2013. And just a sophomore. Listed at 5'9, 289 kills for her as she serves. Back set to Fry. And that's just pushed over. See, oh, I couldn't, couldn't see who got to us. Madison McKee, uh, right at court level here. Sometimes you can't catch a number, and Madison McKee played that one over as Fry serves. 21-14. Third miss serve for, uh, miss serve for Otto Glandorf. But they do serve tough. Their serves are barely clearing the net, which is what you want. So. Um, if you're going to do that, you're going to end up serving some into the net. Mosier serves. Set, hit. And off a of blocker. That one will go to Madison McKee. That's her second kill. 
Media timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Service for Carly Crawfus. Play in the back row that time by McLaughlin and White. Hits it and which side did it fall on? Yeah, I think it fell on the Fenwick side, yeah. but I'm with you, Mark. I, I wasn't sure yeah. until I saw the, the girls cheering. Both referees took a long look at it. Back set. Hit, score, give that one to Lila Schmidt. 22-15. You know what you do when you're an official, Chris? On those plays in the net, you see which girls' team celebrates. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They can't hide that. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. we did it. Okay, yeah. you guys get the point. <laughs> it is 22. Oh, I'm sorry. 15. Sorry, there's a fall in between you guys. This will go to Ella White. And once again, a block at the net. That one will go to Samantha Long. It is 23 15. And when we get to. The stat page, they're getting a lot of points off of blocks. Well, there's, according to my stats, three three already, a, a, along with some other blocks yeah, that right. were not for points. Correct. Bellman goes a long way to get it. White rolls it over. Set by Keller, that's it. Back set fry. This will be set by the libero. Bellman sets in the middle, it's blocked again. The block by Caroline Hinker set that point up and we are at set point in our opening set. Ultimate Outdoor has been our scoreboard sponsor here this evening and it shows a 24-16 lead. And an ace to finish it up, Belize famous recipe chicken ace. And it will be a 25-16 opening set that will go the way of the Bishop Denwood Falcons. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Second set coming up here from Wright State University. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living in your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And our premier sponsor today is Ohio Logistics, providing all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Mark Schein, Chris Ludholz. Chris, you had some stat numbers there. What did they tell you? Well, first for Fenwick, they had 12 kills, but by six different players. They also had four ace serves and three blocks for points. And uh, for Ottawa Glandorf, they had 10 kills, so they're right there with Fenwick on that, but they had no ace serves, and they did miss three serves. Kind of got the set started out right. OG got the first point, then Fenwick got the serve back and scored five consecutive points on the service by Caroline Hinker, and that kind of set the tone for that opening set. Right, two of those, uh, in fact, the very first two points were on blocks, and that has changed uh, the way Otto Glandorf is attacking now, and they're tipping the ball a little bit more. Um, we'll see, maybe they'll come out in this set and uh, just try to try to hit the ball right into the block, which sometimes is okay. We don't keep uh, individual statistics, but Samantha Long had three of those blocks for points in the opening set for Fenwick. Well, and that's how many they had, three. So, Samantha listed at 5'9", but uh, I'm not sure all these sizes are not underplayed a little bit. Those girls, first of all, they seem, seem bigger, but second, their net play has been outstanding. It has been, yeah, both hitting and blocking. So and of course, they, excuse me, Mark, they run a 6'2", which means their setters are never in the front row. So they've always got six player, uh, three players in the front row to set to, and, and three uh, real blockers in the front row as well. Those setters are Abby Keller and Brooklyn Zoit. And they have and they played very well in the opening set. Their sets have been done very, very well. Service here in this set will begin with the Bishop Fenwick Falcons. They're coached by Tyler Conley in his 12th year. 237 wins, 83 losses for his team this year. Of course, Betty Hallenstein's in her first year with OG. We talked earlier in our pregame. 
Started three and six and then got it rolling. She's keeping pretty calm over there, at least on the outside. As we saw the OG Titan, what we think was their girls soccer team come in a little right before the opening service today. Congratulations to them getting to play for a state finals. The opening serve here in set number two will be by Ali Bainey, 5-1 junior with 22 aces on the season. It's been a great fall for Otto Glendorf oh sports this year. That it has. Football team will be playing their second playoff game at Shelby on Friday evening. And Shelby's down here in the state tournament in volleyball they as well. That's correct. All right, so here's Allie Bainey to serve. And she starts it out with at least famous recipe chicken ace. But that ball just died, Mark. We're right across from where that ball would have hit the floor. Um, and that, that ball had no spin, and it just it just dived right down to the floor. Nice Lo serve. Located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's. Another Locally one. owned and operated. We got another one. Oh, yeah. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. And already on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, a pair of aces makes it 2-0 Falcons. Another good serve. Got everybody backing up for it. Has to be tracked down by Lammers. Hit over by Buttlemeyer. And Myring will get a point off a of block. It's 3-0 early on in set two. Falcons. And again, Bainey will get to serve. And she line drives that one to the net. It's 3-1. And Titans will get possession of the ball to serve, and headed back to do so is Addie Bellman. 47 aces for her this year, led this team. And she dives one over right there. That's blocked, give that point to Madison McKee. Okay, perfect timing on that block. A blocking a hit that's coming from uh, a few feet away from the net is pretty tough. Bellman serves again. Set, far side, Myring. Oh, that's, that's, that's good communication. The R2 pointed to his chest, and I got four hits, and they got the call. You say, well, it's too late. Not too late, it was well done officiating. Exactly right. Tied at three, OG has not led in since it was 1-0 in the opening set. And that hit the floor, good diving effort that time by Grace Lammers, but couldn't quite get there. It's 4-3 Falcons. And that's my, uh, my ring's fifth kill. Caroline Hinker will serve. Her service got the Falcons off to a good start in the opening set. Fry hits. Sienna Fry knocks it at four. Well, she's been her go-to player so far uh, for Ottawa Glandorf. That's her sixth kill out of the 11 kills that Ottawa Glandorf has. First team all Ohio this year for Sienna Fry, 6-1. And just a junior set in the middle, Myring. Morgan Myring makes it 5-4, Bi uh, Bishop Fenwick. So one All-Ohio Ohio, all player answers a kill from the other All-Ohio player. Brooklyn Zoik winner, and then she becomes the back row setter. Bellman way up at the net. She tried to save it and could not. She couldn't hit it over, could she, Chris? No, she's a back row player right now, and a back row player can't return a ball. Uh, when she's on or in front of the spiking line and when the ball is completely above the net. So if you caught all that, that, that was uh, an illegal play. Kimmett hits. It's blocked. OG keeps it alive. Set for Myring. And she hit it. Out. Looking to see if there was a touch anywhere. There was not. Wasn't a bad idea to go down line. If that would have been in, it would have been a kill because uh, that down line was uncovered at that time. Maya McLaughlin will enter, and she will be a back row player then, off the top of the tape. And that one will be hit long by Lila Schmidt. 
We're tied at six again. And look how much that net bobs. I know, I know fans at home can't see that, but that, right now that net is still bobbing about three inches, maybe two inches. OG trying to take the lead for the first time in this set. Myring will hit. That's blocked. White was there. So was Kimmett. Back set. Fry. OG leads 7-6. First time they have led since they led one to nothing in the opening set. Good serve. Block, give that block to Kimmett. Myring will hit and she hits it into the antenna. OG up two at eight six on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Good service run by Maya McLaughlin. Tip to the back row. Fry goes off of Blackwell and scores again. OG's on a run. That's, that's her eighth kill. I thought Coach Connie was going to call timeout. He said he just walked behind his team's bench. He just kept on a walking. Myron gets a block. OG's going to get a free ball to play with. Set. Fry. Just has to tip it. Myring tips it and right to an open spot. Smart play by Morgan Myring. Picked up her fourth kill in this set, seventh overall. And Morgan will head back to serve. Very intelligent player and thinking just a sophomore, her, her game experience is outstanding. Bellman sets to the middle. That kill will go to Caitlin Kimmett. 10-7, Titans. And Sienna Fry will serve. Sienna Fry has 38 aces this year. Set, block, back set. And off a of blocker, that kill goes to Lila Schmidt. 10-8. It's her third kill this afternoon. Moser to serve. <clears throat> She's a sophomore as well, going 5-1. Set to the middle. Kimmett gets it blocked. Back set Fry from behind the 10-foot line, and Sienna missed the back line that time. She hasn't missed many today. No, she hasn't. I, that might be her first one. 10-9, uh -huh. Titans. Float serve, really good serve. Ella White. Mia Schmidt, and that hit the antenna. 11-9, Titans. And it will be Caitlin Kimmett's turn to serve. Pitlin's a 5'11 senior. She was second team Western Buckeye League this year. Titans won the league this year. Good serve. And what do we got? Looking for the call. Back row attack. Back row from, attack. Uh, Zoic. Again, she's a back row player. And she sent that ball over the net when the ball was completely above the net. So that's illegal. Titans lead by three. Going for the block on the kill that time by Lila Schmidt, but it went out of bounds. So it's 12-10 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Our presenting sponsor today is Putnam County Home Care and Hospice, providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs where you are treated like family. Set to the middle and hit, and that's in. Give that kill to Madison McKee. Titans maintaining their three-point lead at 13-10. But well, that was a great hit right for the corner. Yeah, you, know, you want your hitters to aim for the corner, and, and that's exactly what she did. You want to hit it right in front of that line judge down in the corner. Yeah. 
short set, and the short set was perfect for Caroline Hinker. 13-9. That's her fourth kill. And entering to serve will be Allie Bainey. She's served very well to start this set. Got her team up 3-0. Titans have taken a three-point lead. Now it's just two. Two of those points are on ace serves. Good serve there. This will go cross court to Buttlemeyer. Myring. Oh, nice dig. Croft, Croft has got to that one. Free ball over by Buttlemeyer. Bellman gets to this one. Buttlemeyer is going to get a hit. She just tips at that time, comes back to her. Set again. That's blocked. Set by Mosier, and that's blocked. Give that one to Madison McKee. 6-2 sophomore. Well, the blocking has shifted from the Fenwick side of the net to the Ottawa Glandorf side of the net. We talked about just on a pure size advantage. OG had that. It's come to play here in set number two as Eddie Bellman will serve. And she chalks up a lead. Same with Rusty Chicken Ace. For the first time today, the Titans lead by four. Bellman again, another good serve, and another ace. Addie Bellman with a lead, famous recipe chicken ace, puts her team up five, and here's Coach Conley saying, I need a timeout. OG up five in the second set, 16-11. You're watching High School Turner Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style live into your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And our scoreboard shows the Ottawa Glendorf Titans with a five point lead here in this set, 16 11. Hence the first time out by Coach Tyler Connolly. And Addie Bellman will continue to serve. And Timeout succeeds, kind of snaps the momentum a bit. It does. That's one of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve coming out of a timeout. Caroline Hinker to serve. How about the set that time, Chris? Yeah, another one hand set. Abby Excellent. Keller. Yes. Stayed out of the net. Couldn't hit it over because. She's a back row player, but got it to a teammate for the kill. Hinker again. Her serve just dies when it crosses the net. Fry hits it. Footwork was off, and pass wasn't where she wanted it. But a timeout is working. That's yeah, did for a fact. Cuts the lead from 16-11 to 16-14, and Hinker will continue to serve. Bellman will set fly, and she just tips it over this time. Off a blocker that time by Samantha Long. Fry hits it into the antenna. 16-15. Here comes the Fenwick Falcons. I think the, and, something and, uh, wrong with the, the net's gone a little bit. Well, Coach, askew. Yeah, Coach Conley said, I think your antenna is a little bit crooked. And, yeah. you know, he probably didn't want to do that because this team's got some momentum right now, and the whole thing comes to a stop now for 30 or 40 seconds. And Sorry. just just anybody watching is obviously seeing that this net is sagging and very loose. I'm not sure at the center of the net, it's even as high as it's supposed to be. It, it, it seems it, like it droops there, doesn't it? If it is, then, then at the antennas, uh -huh. the net's about two inches too high. Falcons trying to tie it up. Myring will get a hit, and she scores. Morgan it, Myring knocks it at 16. She's got eight kills now. So she and Fry are matching kill for kill. In the opening set, 
Caroline Hinkle scores multiple points, and she's doing it here in this set. Out of the middle hit. Myring will get a touch. Took something off of it that time, got a point. Her team leads 17 16. Hinkle's Hinkle to serve again. Hinker to serve again. Cross court to Fry. Sienna scores and breaks the string. We're tied at 17. In both sets now, Caroline Hinker has scored five points for her team. Now we're tied at 17 in this one. As Carly Crawford will serve. And libero hits it over Moser. Set, back set, Fry. 18 17 Titans. That's her 10th kill. I, I don't keep a, a specific stat on back row hits versus front row hits, but she's had probably three kills from the back row. Good serve. Set, cross court, Myring, and Myring will score again. 18 all. She's got a bunch of kills this set, doesn't she? She got seven. Yeah. Our presenting sponsor today is Dale's Concrete. Game is brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete. You can call Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. To serve will be Brooklyn Zoik. Fry. Sienna Fry again. Her team goes back up one. She's got a bunch of this set, doesn't she? Well, she's got a bunch she's of got, the match. Yeah, she's got six in this set. To serve, Maya McLaughlin. She scored four points the last time she served. About dove an ace in right there. Myring has to free ball it over. Bellman will set. Ella White gets it blocked at the net. We'll give that point to Andrea Petoskowitz. It's Fenwick's fourth block of the uh, match, first of the set. We're tied at 19 as Morgan Myring will serve. Bellman runs a long way to set that one. Has to be free balled over. Block. Give that block to Caitlin Kimmett. Her team's up 2019. And Sienna Fry will serve. Good serve from Sienna Fry. And ball is out on the hit by Mia Schmidt. Titans take a two-point lead at 21-19. Fry will serve again. Be there, be there. Bellman back sets Fry from behind the 10-foot line. And a kill will be chalked up by Lila Schmidt. Lila's a senior. She and Brooklyn Zoik are the only two seniors that play a lot for Fenwick. 21-20. OG trying to win set two and even this thing up. Set to Bellman. Pushed by Kimmett. Bellman sets again. Kimmett again, and she mistimed it. We're timed at 21. And we will get our first Ottawa Glendor timeout for set number two. We're tied at 21 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Putnam County Home Care and Hospice, providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs, where you are treated like family. Chris, you said something with timeout, 21 all. Yes, OG needs this set. They do. They need this set to tie it up. It's really tough going being down 0-2 in the state tournament. 
So it's right here, uh, game to four. Moser serves. Bellman will set white. Ella hits to the back row, and she got it in. Right to the corner. Coming out of the timeout, OG scores. Well, she didn't hit it that hard, but she hit it to the spot that was farthest away from her on the other side of the court. So a nice kill back in the corner. Kaitlin Kimmett's turn to serve. That kill will go to Lila Schmidt. That's her fourth to set, sixth overall. Tied at 22. And the serve now will be Abby Keller, 5'7 sophomore. 20 aces for her this season. And OG had to run a long way to try to play that one and could not. Falcons go up 23-22. And we're going to get an OG timeout. Back in a moment, set two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. The annual TV44 WSN funding campaign is underway now. Our goal is to raise $175,000 or more by the end of the year. Your donations stay local and are used to support WTLW and WSN. You can donate today at axeministries.com. OG has used both of their timeouts in this set. Set to white. This set's going to go to Maya, Mia Schmidt, and Mia Schmidt scores. Her team is a point away from taking the second set and a two set to none lead. 24-22. I'd watch the short serve here. Nope. Bellman's gonna set out of the middle. Madison McKee keeps OG in it. It's 24-23. And in the serve will be Gracie Lammers. 5-5 five, five, sophomore. And Gracie served very, very well. This is going to be free balled over. See if Titans can use it and tie this set up. Bellman will back set Fry. And Fry hit it just long. Boy, that was close, Mark. Oh, that, that was I really looked at close. That for a really, really long time. But the ball was long, and that means that Fenwick will win the second set at 25-23. Third set coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's game is brought to you in part by Ohio Logistics. It provides all the assets and operations support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. And our scoreboard today has been brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Our sets today have gone 25-16 and 25-23 in favor of the Bishop Fenwick Falcons. How about your stat numbers, Chris? Well, in that set, in that, uh, set Fenwick had 14 kills, led by their All-Ohio outside hitter. Myring had seven of those kills, and Lila Schmidt had four of them. They had three ace serves, two of them by Allie Bainey. They did have one block and missed one serve. Ottawa Glandorf had 10 kills, led by their All-Ohio player, Sienna Fry, with six. And uh, Madison McKee had two of those 10. They had two ace serves, both of them by Addie Bellman. They did not have any blocks for, they had three blocks for points and uh, one missed serve. So each team missed one serve. The stats are pretty close. Um, I guess the difference would be that uh, Fenwick had 14 kills and Ottawa Glandorf had 10. Well, if you're Ottawa Glendorf, you want this match to mirror your, mirror your season. You started out three and six. You've come a long way since then. You're 20 and seven going into today, and you want to win the next three sets and take this to tomorrow. Well, and the third set, in my opinion, is always the most important one because if, if you're ahead 2-0 and you win it, then you win the match. If you're behind, 
in sets or tied, then you live to play another day. So uh, this is the one to win. OG will serve first in this set. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. You can download Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. You can see the lineups being set right now for both teams. The stat page here from the people at Wright State says that Sienna Fry leads all hitters with 11 kills today. And they are correct. <laughs> they got it right. They? they do, yes. <laughs> Uh, I think we're just about ready here for set number three. And I'm going to throw my editorial comment out. At least the OHSAA got it right and let this division play here at Wright State instead of shipping them to <laughs> uh, yeah. a high school. Yep. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. Bellman will serve first. Myring hits out of the middle and... OG will take the first point of this set. That's a really good play that they run, though. They disguise her as being a, maybe possibly a back row player, and there's other girls that are making good spike approaches. And uh, she just hit it a little bit wide. Bellman will get an ace. Aces so today are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Her Locally third and operated Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. Her third ace today. And famous for iced tea. To the back row it goes. And off a blocker, that kill goes to Samantha Long. Titans still lead 2-1. And this is Caroline Hinker to serve in both sets now. She's had five-point runs in service. Bellman sets in the middle. Ooh, this time she won't get five points as Madison McKee scores. She hit that right down. Madison McKee, 6'2", sophomore with 86 kills coming in today's match. Crawfus will serve. Myring. Lacey Lammers tried to get to the ball and could not. 3-2. Brooklyn Zoik's turn to serve, 5-3 senior. Sienna Fry. And it's free balled over. Here's the libero to set. Bottlemeyer hits. And well, Fry free balls it over. Well covered by the Titans. That's hit off a blocker, it's touched. So we're tied at three. At Schmidt's seventh kill. Each team has two seniors. And this is one of them for the Falcons. Fry. And they keep it alive. Well, we got a Titan reaching over the net to play the ball. Ooh. 4-3. I was looking at Zoic because she's a back row player close to catching the ball in an illegal position, but the call went against the Titans. Set. Kimmett. Falcons going to get another chance. And they do. Scored by Lila Schmidt. 5-3. Fenwick. And here comes Greta Liebrick in. She's going to take Gracie Lommer's place. Brooklyn Zoik. Serves the ball right to the new girl. That's well, what you do. Yeah, that's what you're told to do. Yep. I'm sure they got that call from the, from the bench as well. Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. You just tell her to get this one. Bellman saves it, and Kimmett hits it over. Another kill for Morgan Myring, and the Falcons are on a roll right now. Boy, they are. 
They have scored. It was a 3-1 OG. It is now 7-3. Bishop Fenwick. Sienna Fry gets her team back on the board with 7-4 now. And entering to serve will be Maya McLaughlin. Entering to play in the front row is Ella White. Good, Good nice serve. Yes, sir. Please, famous recipe chicken ace for her at 7-5. That ball got over the net and dived with some power behind it. Boy, no spin, just like a knuckleball. 7-5 now, Titans. Boy, Hook Trail Wilhelm by two. would like that, wouldn't he? <laughs> he would really enjoy watching that. Block. But it fell on the OG Titans side as Myron gets a kill, and the vast majority of our audience has no idea who Hoyt Wilhelm is. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that one or two people yes. that do. So message me if you know who Hoyt Wilhelm is. Morgan Myring will serve. Her team is up three here in set three. Sienna Fry. And that was not the best of Bellman sets like she typically does. She still put it away. And and she, she likes going down that short line right yep. there. We'll see if uh, Fenwick adjusts their defense a little bit on that. That's her 12th, uh, 13th kill. Addie Bellman's a terrific setter. Block, Kimmett. Again, White dove on it. Can they get it over? They do. That was a nice set. It was. Lila Schmidt tried to hit it. The ball hit the antenna, and it will go to Fenwick. And they will lead 9-6. And as they do, the libero, Emerson Moser, will serve. Ella White to Moser. Schmidt hits off a blocker. Ooh. That was close, Chris. Yeah, well, they, yeah. They, they caught Sienna Fry off guard a little bit there. Nice tip. 10-6. Was that Hinker that got it that? It was, and okay. that was one of those. It was a prolonged contact. Not the ball rests in her fingertips for a moment. We're going to get an OG timeout. They trail 10-6 in set three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's game is brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping Lipstick. For all of your commercial and residential concrete needs, you can call Dale's Concrete. OG takes their first time out here in set number three. They trail 10-6 in set three. The winner will come back and play at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. They will play the winner of our next match this season. That's Mentor Lake Catholic and Frankfurt Adena. I think that's uh, undoubtedly the first time that we'll have state championship games on Friday. I think you're right. Now that we're in our seven divisions, oh. and we'll chalk that up as a lead. Famous recipe, chicken ace. 11-6 as Morgan Mosier lines one off of Titans hands. Float serve. Back set, and somebody was in the net. Yep, yep, I think White was in the net. I think you're right. Ella White was called for being in the net. It's 11-6. Excuse me, 12-6. Okay. Doubled him up. This will be White's opportunity, and she hits it off two blockers. Short set out of the middle. That hit was by Hinker, and White will get another chance. This will be set for Mia Schmidt. Back set to Fry from behind the 10-foot line. And a kill. Give that one to Lila Schmidt. 13-6. That's her ninth kill. That's a lot for a right side player. Mosier will serve again. She's served four consecutive points. 
Short set out of the there middle. That was Caitlin Kimmett. 13-7. Titans need a run. They've only scored, well, they scored two points in service here in this set. Good serve off the top of the net. Bellman saves it, they keep it alive. Fry was able to push it over. And that one is gonna go up in the crowd. Well, there's no block on that. The, the set completely faked out the Titans and there was just no block up on that at all. So now entering will be Abby Keller to serve. And Long missed the back line. Bishop Fenwick, the state tournament champions in Division II in 2019. They were also champions in the Division Three in 2010. Last year they lost in the district semifinals to Hamilton Baden. Bellman will set. Nice. Marley Buttemeyer was a good set. And a big time hit by Caroline Hinker. Got a good set in the front row and put her team up 15-8. She's got six kills now. Here's Allie Bainey to serve. She's got three aces so far today. Set in the middle, tipped over, and that was well-placed ball by Madison McKee. Make it 15-9. And Addie Bellman will serve. And she missed the sideline. 16-9. Falcons. That's the Titans' fifth miss serve today. Really not that many. Not bad, no. Nope. But a little crucial when it's your first serve. Caroline Hinker. Sienna Fry. When you need a point, you go to Sienna Fry at 16-10. That's her 14th, 14th kill. Carly Crawfus will serve. And the uh, setter that time, Abby Keller, just kind of misstepped. Looks like she rolled that angle rolled just a little what, bit. That's what I thought. She popped up quickly enough, but uh, didn't look good for a moment. She will set this ball. Hit the antenna. 16-12. Titans trying to fight their way back into set three. Crawfus, good serve again. But an even better hit by Morgan Myring to make it 17-12. And that's her 14th kill. So Brooklyn Zoik will enter. Brooklyn will be the server and play in the back row. And as she comes in, so does Lila Schmidt to play in the front row. Free ball over. Back set. And block. Oh, nicely played by It Fenwick. was. They kept it alive, didn't they? Fry. And the kill out of the middle. It goes to Potoskowitz at 18-12. That's Potoskowitz's third kill. She has one in each set. Set, tipped over by Myring, and she scores that time just by placing the ball in a great spot. 19-12. Can see Gracie Lombard's got over here and 
Got the ball out of play. And that ball was headed long, but Lombers wasn't sure, so she played it as 20 to 12. Well, you play it if you're not sure, yep. but um, I heard a few people yelling out on that from the And from the with bench. that, eight-point lead here in set three by the Fenwick Falcons. Timeout, Ottawa, Glandor. They trail by eight in the third set. You're watching High School Turn of Volleyball on WOSM. You can join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as they discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports across the state of Ohio in WSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. Ottawa Glandorf has taken their second timeout. They trail by eight and trail two sets to none as Brooklyn Zoik serves. Bellman will set, Fry, good block that time. Set again, and hit, it was touched. 21-12. Well, it was touched at the net, and since it was touched at the net, Croft has had no choice but to try to play that, so, so really not her fault there. Nine point lead, set, Fry hits again, that was blocked. Kimmett hits, and finds an open spot. 21-13. And in the serve will be Maya McLaughlin. And as Maya enters, so does Ella White to play in the front row. Maya had a good service run in set two. See if she can get one going here. And hitting it in. Morgan Myring found the back line and kept it in play. 22-13 as Myring will serve. 289 kills, 35 aces for this team. She had 13 digs for points as well. 16 more kills today. That was a third team all Ohio player. This is going to be free balled over. Set, tipped. And finding the back line and putting a perfect spot is Maya Schmidt, the freshman. 23-13, it's a 10-point Falcon lead. Myring serves. Good play by White to get to that one. Block. Kimmett was there, so was Fry. 23-14. Good time for a block. That's their fourth block uh, today. Both teams have four blocks. Sienna Fry will serve for the Titans. Good serve from her. Block. And a good block. Kimmett was there. So was Bellman, 23-15. Yeah. OG has used both of their timeouts. Bishop Fenwick has not used a timeout in the third set. There's an ace. At least they must just be chicken ace. It's 23-16 as Fry scores. Nice little run here for Otto Glandorf. You know, it's never over until it's over, somebody said one time. Another good serve. Block, but block out. So at 24-16, Bishop Fenwick one point away from going to the state finals. Emerson Moser to serve. Bellman will set. Kimmett got a hit. Hinkle got two hits. Ella White gets a hit. She rolls it over this time. That's blocked. And the point goes to Lila Schmidt as she hit it off a pair of blockers. And Bishop Fenwick will take the third set, 25 to 16. They will move to 16 and 12 on the season. And they will play the winner of our next match, Middle Lake Catholic of Frankfurt Adina, tomorrow at 
at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Chris and I will be back for the postgame show after this. You watch your high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University for the final time. The Bishop Fenwick Falcons have taken a three-set win over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans today. That will make Bishop Fenwick 16 and 12. Ottawa Glendorf will finish the season at 20 and 8. Chris Luthold, what kind of numbers to jump off the page at you today? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Ottawa Glendorf on a great season. First-year coach Matty Hohenstein, and just a great job. They started off three and six, like you said. This is just their second loss since then. And just a fantastic year. I know they'll all remember that. But uh, uh, Ottawa Glandorf ended up with, with uh, 27 kills, led by Sienna Fry with 14 and Madison McKee with six. Uh, they had seven service aces, three by Addie Bellman, and they ended up with 16 blocks, six team blocks. And also, congratulations to Fenwick for advancing to the state championship game. Uh, they had 48 kills altogether, led by Morgan Myring with 17 and Lila Schmidt with 14. They had nine service aces and four blocks. Two of those were the first two points of the of the afternoon. And the set of the day was set number two when we had nine ties and four lead changes. And I think if, uh, you know, if you're from Ottawa Glandorf on the team or coaching, you're thinking that that's one we should have gotten. We should have won set two and then they would be playing for the fourth set. But still a great season, their first year in the state tournament and a first year coach, uh, Coach Hanstein. So congratulations to the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Well, Chris, before we finish talking about Ottawa Glandorf, they're gonna finish 20 and eight. They were champions of the Western Buckeye League this year with a nine, nine and O record. That's their 12th championship. They, they graduate two players. They're gonna graduate Kennedy Fuqua. They're gonna get, graduate Caitlin Kimmett. But for a team that was 20 and eight, and they got a lot of pieces coming back next year. They do, of course. Their setters back, and uh, and um, and that's a Bellman, and uh, you know their All Ohio player, first team All Ohio, Sienna Fry, along with uh, some back row players, and um, uh, I'm sure the expectations and excitement will be there next year when the season begins. Of course, I, I'm looking at uh, the Bishop Fenwick team. They go to 16 and 12. We talked earlier in our pregame about how difficult their schedule was this year. But they've got some really talented players led by their third team all ohio player morgan Myrie, who i thought just had a spectacular day today well sure you know you think that um that that means that they started the tournament at 10 and 12. yeah so who's 10 and 12 and expects to get to the state tournament so fine job there and um but yeah Myring's the all ohio sophomore she's back next year with 17 kills and uh so Expect big things from them as well. And they will be playing tomorrow for their third Ohio State Championship in volleyball. I want to thank our sponsors today. It's been Ultimate Outdoor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Dale's Concrete, Putnam County Home and Health Care Hospice, and Ohio Logistics. Jacob O'Neill did all the technical work today, his camera work, audio work, and he's going to take this back to the station and edit it all together. The Bishop Fenwick Falcons will move on to play in the state finals tomorrow. They do so with a three-set victory over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.